Alright guys, so we have done the condenser in the front and then we have also changed the air filter in the dashboard. Now, to address one issue that I have is that my real moto does have a weird sound coming from it. So I'm assuming that it is very dusty and it needs to be cleaned or it needs to be replaced. So, I will need to remove this. Alright, so if you want to know how to remove the third row seat, I will put the link in the description below. I've done that, I've posted that. If you want, you can check it out. Now, let's get to this, alright? So, this is going to be a bit more technical. Uh, there's a lot of things involved. So, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we need to remove is this rubber here. Just move it out slightly away. Okay, and then... We need to remove the panel down here as well. So for this panel, it's quite simple. It's only uh, held on by four clips, if I remember correctly. Just pull it out. Okay, so yeah, it's held on by four clips. So put it aside. Okay, next thing you want to do is you need to use a pry tool over here and pry it out a bit. Okay. Okay, we'll start from the top. Just put it in. And... Okay, so you got it out a bit. Okay, and then for this, it's a bit more complicated. You need to turn it first. You might need to actually uh, uh, press on that. Okay, so turn it, then pull it out. All right. So it is the type of uh, clip that whereby you have to turn it, alright, see it's not flat, you turn it to unlock, you turn it this way to lock. Okay, so after that you have a screw inside here. Okay, so you just need to take that out. Now the next thing you need to unbolt is the one on the bottom here. Okay, so to do this, you need a smaller screwdriver. Okay, a small screwdriver, put it at the bottom here, and then pry it upwards. Okay, and you have a bolt here that's size 10 mm. Okay, and then you slide it upwards to take it out. Okay. Okay, I like to keep my screws like this. Okay, so I don't get loose track of them. So the next thing you need to do is you need to remove this plastic panel here. Okay, to remove this, you just need to use a pry tool and slot it out.
Okay, so now that we are done at the back here, alright, we are not going to unclip it anything and yet, alright, we will go to the front there. Okay, so on this side, what you need to do is you need to take out this rubber mold first. Okay, then just um, hang it somewhere so that it doesn't bother you. And then we will need to remove the panel on the bottom here. Okay, so this panel we need to remove because it will be blocking over here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to remove this panel on the chair. Just slide it forward. Put it aside and for this it's held on by clip so just pull it up. Okay. And slide it out and put it aside. Now that you have access to here, you need to put the pry to from here onwards and just pry it out a bit. Okay? Okay, so you can see that we have already pried this out a bit. Alright, you don't have to pry all the way, we'll do it from the inside, okay? Now, next thing we need to do is we need to release the clip over here. Okay, so just squeeze it like how you want to squeeze a pimple just squeeze it and push it out okay that's done and now what we need to do is we need to start removing it so what I'll do is I'll put the camera a bit further hopefully you can see what I'm doing so what I'll do is I will Use a pry tool and pry out from the back towards the front and probably go savage and barbaric on it by pulling it. I forgot there's one more over here. Okay, there's one more of these stuff clips. Okay, so we have one more thing to disconnect, which is the bulb here. Alright, just push it out and the 
disconnect this. And then um, there's one more wire down here as well. Alright, so just disconnect that and we are all clear. Okay, so we'll be moving this aside. Alright, so now that we've gotten the things out, let's have a look at what we're dealing with, alright? Okay, so uh, my intention is to actually check on this motor. So I'll just disconnect this and there's three bolts here. Okay, but I might need to remove this first. Okay, I might need to remove this. Which is a good thing because I see a lot of debris inside here. Oh. Okay, so that's the remains of some pan that was probably stuck there for god knows how long. Definitely a ballpoint pen. Okay. And some icky stuff. Alright. Okay, looks like I have to clean this after I remove it and then regrease it. Uh, so to remove this, is like, it looks pretty simple. Two bolts here. One bolt here. And one bolt over here. Alright, so four bolts. Remove this and you will have access to this. Okay, so... Yep, let's get to it. Okay, so now that we have removed the bracket, we have full access to the blower motor. And to remove this, you, e <coughs> you either get a flat head, which is a bit difficult, or you get an 8mm to remove this. I wish I have a 8mm ratchet but I don't so this is gonna be a very long process so let's have a look at the motto yes it's indeed very dirty very very dirty See if I can focus this. Okay, as you can see, it's really, really dirty. Okay, so I'll have this wash and I will also wash this area here. Just give it a good wipe and let's have a look at this. Okay, this looks pretty decent. I'll just give it a quick blow. Looks good. Just a quick blow. The cooling coil on the inside looks okay. Might be a bit dusty. But uh pretty much acceptable. Okay, so I won't be I won't be cleaning the cooling coil cause that would take a lot of effort. And I'd rather pay a professional to do that. I don't want to spoil it because that would be a lot of money. Okay, so in terms of DIY I will be cleaning this. Okay, sorry about the, back, the noisy background noise. My neighbors are at home. Okay, so as you can see, this is clean. Alright. Yes. There is no more dirt over it. Alright, there are still some stains at the corner here that's a bit hard to get. But I'm just leaving it as it is. And this is how dirty the water is. Watch. Yes, it is actually only about this deep, but you're right. Okay, so how do you clean this? Well, I use this. Very effective. Then I also use a milk bottle cleaner. Also very effective. Okay. And I use a piece of cloth as well. And this was also clean using the brush. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw away this water, refill it with clean water and give this another one last rinse, alright? Okay, and there you have it. It's all installed back. The motor is installed back with the three bolts, the three nuts, and this is bolted back with the four bolts. 
Okay. So uh, in this video, I won't be showing you how I put back everything because it's basically the same, just the opposite. But what I did do, what I did do, is that I did give this whole thing a very nice wipe down. Okay, as we can see, the dirt earlier from here is all gone, the dust, everything, and you can see this is very nice and sweet. Okay, so how I clean this? Well, you just use a brush, brush off all the dust, apply some grease back over to this uh, holes on both sides and you're done see all right you can see some of the old grease but it's still clean but the new grease is all on the inside and this is smooth oh will you listen to that all right that's the sound of a very smooth uh, seat rail all right nice okay so Yep, everything has been given a uh, wipe down. You can see that there's less dust here as well. Um, I should have done a better job here, but... Ah, well. Okay. So, everything is done. Everything's connected. So, this is connected. This is connected back. Okay. So, that's the end of this video. Now, let's talk a bit about how long it takes, alright? So, to take the whole panel off, it takes about uh, 15 to 20 minutes if you're doing it one person. Uh, just follow the steps that I've outlined you would not go wrong okay so there might be times where you will um, have no confidence when it comes to pulling out the panel the yeah the panel all right but as long as you're confident that uh, all the mounting bolts are gone then it's all just clips all right Toyota love clips and I love clips because the way they do the clips it's uh, actually quite tight quite nice there's no rattle or anything all right if you are interested you can also do some soundproofing here but i'm not doing that at least not for now yeah at least for not for now because the car basically is actually pretty quiet to me so i'm not doing any soundproofing or anything all right but if you want you can actually do it over here as well since you have everything open okay actually it comes with some soundproofing by itself okay just some parts are missing okay what is there else what else is there to talk okay so i've actually tested the motor uh the weird humming sound is gone so i believe uh what happened was that the dirt was so thick that the motor is either struggling turn or it is not balanced anymore because of the amount of dirt so once the dirt was gone now the humming sound is gone all right but in the event that after you have cleaned it you still have a weird humming sound or it doesn't turn on every now and then then it's time for a replacement motor all right so basically everything is the same i've said that you don't have to clean the motor you just need to uh change the motor in that means remove this and put a new one in which is even simpler right but yeah i am stingy all right whatever i can fix i will fix whatever that needs to be replaced i will replace okay yeah that's it Okay, as usual, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you like it, give me that. But if you hate it, you can always give me that. But leave us a comment on how I can improve further, alright? And yeah, if you have not done so, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Because that really, really matters to me. It shows that um, my videos are being liked and people want to see more of it. So I get motivated to do more of these style of videos, alright? So, till next time, see ya!